Ooh, that one went up the nose. Oh, fuck. Goodness gracious. Walter, I am not alive right now. Walter. Jesse. What is going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Steph. We're back at Breaking Bad Season 4, Episode 12 of Last on Crawl Space. Amazing episode. Maybe my favorite episode of the whole series. Just that whole ending segment. Like, it really changes the game right now. A lot of things are start opening up. And I'm excited to see Walt. Obviously gotta do something obviously he's trying to flee right now but probably gonna try and kill gus i would assume and then hank got the dea involved trying to protect him so yeah walt laughing at the end there ted Benneke killing himself practically slipping <laughs> oh my god and I've, i noticed the views went up on this last breaking Bad episode so i appreciate all of you especially new viewers if you're new here welcome um loving the show man it's, it's so good. And yeah. Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, here on Breaking Bad Season 4, Episode 12. And 3, 2, 1. They're here. They're out front. How many? Four. Nelson Bray, three others. Did you get his toothbrush? Got it. What about your stuff? Oh, you know what? We'll talk to them about stopping at your place. Skyler, what? I'm not going. What? I'm not going to Hank and Marie's. I'm not going anywhere. But you said we're in danger. Yes, that's true. Because of me. No, it doesn't matter now. All that matters is... All that matters is that the rest of you are safe. And that's why I'm not going with you. I'm the real target. But we'll all be safer at Hank's. No, that's... No, no. No one will be safe at Hank's if I'm there. Yay! What I know is that Hank is the only person that's in danger. They're including us only as a courtesy to Marie, just to keep her happy. How am I supposed to explain that to Marie, or, or, or Junior, or, or Hank, Hank, for that matter? We don't know. No. There's got to be another way. There isn't. There was. Walt. How long till you're safe? Until you can work this out. Skyler, no. I have lived under the threat of death for a year now. And because of you. I've made choices. Yes, Listen I... to me. I alone should suffer the consequences of those choices. No one else. Those consequences. They're coming. No more prolonging the inevitable. Damn. Fuck. Brian Cranston, though. Just stay safe. Ah, please. The whole thing was just a giant jerk-off. Yeah, yeah, but, uh... Keep your head down anyway, all right? All right. The long cold open right there, ladies and gentlemen. Hank, we wouldn't even be arguing about this if you and Steve would just make him come. Why didn't your people put him in the car? Uh, because it's not Nazi Germany, all right? Oh, you Nazi dollar. Every time I heard that, you know what? I'm gonna call him. He's gonna get his behind here immediately. End 
of story. Thank you. At least somebody is listening to because me. Because <laughs> we're in danger here. Well, an anonymous threat against me? I'm stuck in a wheelchair. I'm not even on the job. No. Someone didn't like the way I've been uh, spending my free time. What? Minerals? Minerals? Freeing. And also Wait I'm a locked down for my whoa, own whoa, protection. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you, did you say Wait, what? From, from the chicken restaurant? Hank, what are you talking about? Man's humble opinion, that's all. <laughs> but I think Los Poyos Hermanos is a front for the biggest meth distributor in the Southwest. Oh my God. Are you even. What happened to good old fashioned knock and talk? Oh, that's right. I forgot. You were never very good at those, were you? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, here we go. Just the two of you? You make it quick, right? Dennis, we'll be like the wind. OK. Could you tell him? OK. Dennis is not <laughs> playing it very well. He seems, oh. This isn't going to oh, go Dennis, well. Dennis, can you grab some of your people for us? Confuses the dog's nose. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? There will be an appropriate response. Appropriate? What does that mean? Such a fucking corporate ass answer. <laughs> Blah. Up clear about that. Call me as soon as you can. Pinkman, get over here. Please. I don't know if I'm speaking English here. Or... So, it's waiting for me, y'all. Hold up, hold up. The hell, man? You know what? Hey, Goodman, get out here. Get... Hey, yo, get your tune off me. Moron. Drop, leave it, go lie down. I'm sorry, you can't be too careful. <laughs> that scene with the voicemails was such like a, it reminded me so much of GTA. Hey, what's up? What? Hey, hey. What else? inside grandma's with them she's coming for all this paperwork how's he doing tell me what's going on the, the doctors they don't know what it is exactly it's like, it's like... Why did you poison him? Who's 
Brock. You saw him in my living room just last night. You came to my door and you looked right at him. So t tell me you don't know it. <clears throat> the boy, Jesse, I, I have no idea who these people are. No, please. Okay. The ricin. He's dying because someone gave it to him. And only you and I were the only two people on Earth who knew about it. He has, he has been ten steps ahead of me at every turn. And now, the one thing that he needed to finally get rid of me is your consent. And boy, he's got that. And not only does he have that, but he manipulated you into pulling the trigger for him. All you and I knew about the rice. No! You don't even believe that. This is cameras everywhere, please. Listen to yourself. No, he has known everything. All along. Where were you today? In the lab? And you don't think it's possible that Tyrus lifted the cigarette out of your locker? Come on. You're the cook and you have proven that you can run a lab without me. And now that cook has reason to kill me. Think about it. It's brilliant. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs>
was obviously, you know, ahead of the whole shebang. And Gus was the one who got the kid killed. Brock killed. Which, I mean, if, if, if he did, Wall is literally playing 3D chess. Because Gus is obviously so much ahead. The only time he wasn't was Gale's death. And, like, Mike wasn't. They were like, oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, my God. Gale's dead. But with Gus, especially not going towards the car, what was Walt trying to do? Just blow up the car? Blow, like, what was he doing? I, I'm not totally for sure what, I'm not for sure what Walt, what he was cooking, gonna be completely honest, don't know. There was that bubbling shit, but I don't fucking know. But hopefully Brock survives, because if it was Ryson, I guarantee, you know, if the doctors knew what it was, you can, you know, reverse whatever was was going on and hopefully i hope brock doesn't die and i also just don't think because the only reason walt would have done it is to lure lure jesse back onto his side because of the story that walt tor told against gus because no it was gus he did it but he wants oh, ah. but the whole rice and idea it all circles back the whole rice and the cigarette hack kill gus was walter's idea and gus's or walter's idea got brock killed so incredibly tragic incredibly or maybe maybe killed i don't think i don't think he's dead not yet but we'll see um the whole scene at the the laundry was great you know that the dentist guy he did not play the part well he was like uh, what are you guys doing here? Why would you be here? What the fuck? I mean, I guess if it's you two, go look around. It was very suspicious, but they didn't find anything. But they have pictures, so they might find something. Or there might be something later on that they didn't see, and then they found out, and they're like, oh, there it is in the picture. That's the... Oh, let's get this search warrant. Like, something could happen. Or it just might, Walt just might not believe anymore. It might give up, which I could totally see. Um, but nonetheless, great episode. I'm excited to see what happens next. Excited. Great shit. It's one of the best shows ever, for sure. And I'm not even in season five yet. I'm ready for this, you know, to get to the end and then watch El Camino and then Better Call Saul, baby. I've heard so many good things. I know the first, they've people have said, you know, the first season is kind of slow but i don't care i like stories tell me a good story and i'll be in i will be in i hate the term slow because even if it is slow it's still content like you're still building up towards something and it's character progression whatever it may be but this show's great walter insane stuff insane thinking even gus though he's he's the man he's a great villain Good shit. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you videos every single day, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram. And all the social media is down in the description below. And we'll catch you for another video. Goodbye!